Hello, fellow fan geeks. It's your fangirl, Tally, and today it's time for Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It must be a Tuesday, guys. All the best things happen on Tuesday. And I am so freaking excited because we're going to start season two today. Season two is my favorite episode, favorite season. All my favorite episodes are in this season. And I just, oh, uh, the season ripped my heart out, but I loved it. It gave me all my favorite characters. We got Sp Spike, we got Drew, we got Angelus. Oh, whew. we got Oz. I loved Oz with his little monkey pants. I know, I am completely, completely that my Slayer at vibes. They know no bounds at all. Okay, yes, let's just do this. Buffy, the Vampire Slayer, Season 2, Episode 1. When she was bad. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Vampire in love with a Slayer. It's rather poetic. You know. And in this time shall come. Romeo and Juliet kind of way, right? Buffy will face the master, and she will die. She's not breathing. She's dead. Eh, we'll see Come on. They're dead. I may be dead, but I'm still pretty. That was something. Okay, um... It's your turn. I, okay, uh... In the few hours that we had together, we loved a lifetime's worth. Terminator. Good, right. Um, oh, okay, I got one. It's a madhouse. A madhouse. Planet of the Apes. Can I finish, please? Oh, sorry, go ahead. House. Planet of the Apes. Okay, good. Me. Uh... Well? I'm thinking. Use the Force, Luke. Do I even have to dignify that with a guess? I couldn't think of anything. It's a dumb game, anyway. Well, what else do you want to do? We already played rock, paper, scissors. My hand's cramped up. Well, yes. If you're always scissors, of course your tendons are Yeah, I just gotta strike. say that this has been the most boring summer ever. Yeah, but on a plus side, no monsters or stuff. I'm just so restless. I'm actually looking forward to school starting up again. Yeah, and that wouldn't have anything to do with a certain girl we both know who is a vampire slayer. Please, I'm so over her. Did she, um, mention when she might be getting back? About which I do not care. I haven't heard from her. I got a couple postcards when she went to L.A., but I'm like nothing. Well, she's probably with her dad having a good time. And you don't care? Well, okay, they're might be some interest. I'm a man. I have certain desires, certain needs. Uh, I don't want to know. Uh, I agree. I got a movie for you. Cinder. You're Amish. You can't fight back because you're Amish. I mock you with my ice cream cone, Amish guy. Witness. My nose is cold. Let me get that for you. Cinder. Sorry, I can't help myself. Your nose looks so tasty. A moment. There was a moment. Poor Willow. Because this is not real. Like, really? Willow, go. Guys. 
miss me? Well, it seemed that they had no vampires until you came back. Hey. Hey, Will. Man, you're <laughs> Extra you hug. Suck, huh? <laughs> When'd you get back? Uh, just now. Dad drove me down. And I figured you two losers would be getting into some kind of trouble. I think we had the upper hand in a subtle way. Does either of you even have a cross? Very sloppy. Well, it's been a slow summer. I mean, that's the first vampire we've seen since you killed the master. It's like they knew I was coming back. So what about you? How was your summer? Did you slay anything? No. Uh, just hung out, partied some. Shopping was also a major theme. Well, you haven't lost your touch. That vampire. I did kind of wail on him, didn't I? Yeah. I like your hair. <laughs> so how did you guys fare? Did you have any fun without me? Yes. No. Well, our summer was kind of yawn-worthy. Our biggest excitement was burying the master. That's right, you missed it. Right up by that tree. Giles buried the bones, and we poured holy water, and we got to wear robes. Very intense. You should have been. Have you seen Giles? Why would I do that? Same at school. Man, I'm really glad you're back. Me too. Shouldn't they uh, smash the master bones? Okay, then. This is the last of it. More clothes? Oh, do shoes count as clothes? How much shopping did you let her do? Oh, I just thought I was saving you from the big back-to-school clothing nightmare. My nightmares with Buffy in school will have nothing to do with clothes. Did she manage to stay out of trouble in L.A.? She did, yeah. She was, um, you know, great. But? She was just, I don't know, um, distant. Not brooding or sulking, just there was no connection. The more time we spent together, the more I felt like she was nowhere to be seen. Hence the shoes. <laughs> I may have overcompensated a little bit. Mm. It's so strange, you know, at least when she was burning stuff down, I knew what to say. Welcome to my world. I haven't been able to get through to her for so long. I'll just be happy if she makes it through the school year. And Joyce is just is out for that totally Parent of the Year award I mean, right out the get-go. And then they just decide to go to Tuscany. Art and buildings. I was totally beachless for a month and a half. No one has suffered like I have suffered. Of course, I think that that kind of adversity builds character. Well, then I thought, I already have a lot of character. Is it possible to have too much character? The first day back. It always gets me. Oh, yes. it's I mean, it's incredible. Rich, pretty and dumb. One day the campus is completely bare, empty. The next, there are children everywhere. Like locusts, crawling around, mindlessly bent on feeding and mating, destroying everything in sight in their relentless, pointless desire <laughs> to exist. Well, I do enjoy these pep talks. <laughs> Have you ever considered, uh, given your abhorrence of children, that school's principal was not perhaps your true vocation? Somebody's got to keep an eye on them. They're just a bunch of hormonal time bombs. Every time a pretty girl walks by, every boy turns into a gibbering fool. Miss Calendar. Mr. Giles. Well, uh, uh, um... <laughs> Hello? You see the way these kids gaze at each other? Oh, mini. Good to see you. Yes. Think they're thinking about learning? Uh, were you headed to the uh, factory room? Sounds like fun. I try and tell them about the important things in life. Discipline, responsibility, punctuality. I might as well be talking to myself. Okay, that was fucking awesome. I, did burn I love Joss. Oh, such a dick festival, you should have been there. They had drum rituals, mobile sculptures, raves, naked mud dances. You would have just hit it with, with fire a fiery passion. passion. I can't imagine finding any redeeming uh, naked. Hmm. Naked? And you probably spent all summer with your nose in a book. I suppose you'd consider that frightfully dull. Depends on the book. Yo, G-Man, what's up? Nice to see you. And don't ever call me that. Don't okay. ever call me that. Hey, hi. How are you? Live and kicking. 
Buffy killed a vampire last night. Way to announce that uh, in the I middle think of. Get a little more volume if you speak from the diaphragm. Sorry, we got vampires. I thought the hell mouth was closed. Well, it's, it's closed, but not gone. The mystical energy that emanates from it is still concentrated in this area, which means we're still the undead's favorite party town. I wonder if they're here for any purpose, particularly. You're the watcher. I just work here. Yes. Yes. I'll consult my books. Oh, eight minutes and thirty-three seconds. Pay up. I called ten minutes before you to consult your books about something. Thank you. Thank you. We better get to class. Oh, uh, Buffy. Uh, I realize you've only just returned, but when you're ready, I, I think we should start your training again. I'm ready. I'll see you after school. Well, I, I understand if, if you want a few days to. I'm ready. Here's the thing with, with Mr. No Fun, principal bad guy. How are, uh, how did they get away with this? I mean, this random chick in the library. Oh, somebody's having some PS2. Wow. Uh, safe to say you've stayed in shape. I'm ready. Sure. Whatever they got coming next, I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna we get have Kendra. Down, kinsmen. We have lost our way. We have lost the night. But despair is for the living. Where they are weak, we will be strong. Where they weep, we rejoice. Where they bleed, <laughs> we drink. <laughs> Within three days, a new hope will arise. A new hope. We will put <laughs> our faith in him. He will show us the way. That's right. The anointed one is still doing his thing. Fine. What were you thinking about? Nothing. Oh, come on, you can tell us. We're your bosom friends. The friends of your bosom. Mm. Xander. Didn't sound right. I wasn't thinking anything, really. What'd you do last night? Mm. Slept. Bad were dreams. Dreams are meaningful. Shh, tell me about it. The other night I dreamt that Xander. Uh, it wasn't uh, Xander. It wasn't Xander. And he wasn't. In fact, it wasn't me. It was a friend's dream. and. She doesn't, she doesn't remember. remember it. I bet she doesn't. Buffy. Giles. What is it? You look worried. This vampire activity. I think I know what they're up to. Well, we'll deal with it. I hope it's that simple. It is not to worry. Trust me. Well, I don't know. I mean, I've killed you once. It shouldn't be too difficult to do it again. What? <laughs> You should have known when they switched snacks. This was a freaky dream. No, not okay. Evie, you need to talk to somebody. Hello. Mind if I come in? Be my guest. How are you? Is this where Edward got the creeper thing Did from? She... I mean, was Angel our original stalker so vampire? Just call? show up in the bedroom and watch late. her sleep? Or, well, it is for me anyway. What is it for you, lunch hour? It's not a social call. Ah, so let me guess that means grave danger. Gosh, it's good to be home. I'm sorry. I wish I had better news. 
So, some of your cousins are in town for a family barbecue, and we're all on the menu. The anointed one. He's been gathering forces somewhere in town. I'm not sure why. Guess I'll find out soon enough, huh? You don't sound too concerned. I can handle myself. Besides, I could use a little action anyway. Don't underestimate the anointed one just because he looks like a child. He has power over the rest of them. They'll do anything for him. Is that it? Is that everything? You know, because you woke me up from a really good dream. Okay. I love this song. It's on the soundtrack. It's beautiful. No, really, go buy, download, whatever. This soundtrack it is it's worth it. I, I don't think there is a single song on it that I don't like. Angel stop by? Wow. Was there, well, I mean, was it having to do with kissing? Willow, grow up. Yeah. Not everything is about kissing. Yeah, some stuff's about groping. It wasn't about groping. Okay, hormones on parade here? It was pure shop talk. Remember vampires, pointy teeth, they walk by night. Am I ringing a bell? What did he say? Uh, something's up. Nothing I can't handle. Oh, hey, did you guys hear that Chibo Amato's gonna be at the bronze tonight? Chibo Amato, they're playing? No, Willow, they're gonna be clog dancing. Chibo Amato can clog dance? <laughs> Oh, sarcasm, right? We should attend, no? Oh, look, it's the Three Musketeers. Is that an insult? Kind of like punch. The Three Musketeers were cool. I see your point. I would have gone with Stooges. Well, I just meant that you guys always hang out together. So, do you guys fight any demons this summer? Uh, yes, our own personal demons. Uh, such as, as, as lust and um, thrift. I would have to go with Stooges also. What are you guys talking about? I'm talking about big, squiggly demons that came from the ground, remember, prom night? With all the vampires. Cordelia, your mouth is open. Sound, Sound is, is coming, coming in from, from it. This is it's never good. good. No. I say that a lot. In front of other people. Especially to my <laughs> siblings. You haven't been talking about our little adventure all summer, have you? Are you nuts? You think I would tell people that I spent the whole evening with you? Besides. It's also creepy, that master guy, all the screaming. I don't even like to think about it. So, your secret's safe with me. Well, that works out great. You won't tell anyone that I'm the Slayer, and I won't tell anyone you're a moron. Now that was a good insult. A little too good. It was me. I don't remember who Super Mario is, and I bet you they're on the soundtrack I was just reading. I just think something's up is all. Willow, you're paranoid. Fluffy's never acted like this before. Ever since she got back, she's different. Well, Buffy's always been different. She's never been mean. <sighs> Any sign of her? She said she was coming. No. The band's cool, though. Yeah, cool. You got something on your nose. Dick. Am I the only one who wants to just salt his bones?
Don't just stand there. Dig. We have to hurry. The ground is consecrated. It burns. Dig. They didn't bury him very deep. has decided Let's R Us was her shop of choice. Hi. Hi. So is there danger at the bronze? Should I beware? I can't help thinking I've done something to make you angry. And that bothers me more than I'd like. I'm not angry. But I don't know where that comes from. What are you afraid of? Me? Us? Us? you contemplate getting over yourself for a second? There's no us. Look, Angel, I'm sorry if I was supposed to spend the summer moaning over you, but I didn't. I moved on. To the living. Ouch. The wind is hey! 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 <laughs> What's wrong with Angel? Beats me. Let's dance. Uh, okay. No, no, it's gonna hurt Angel and Willow and get on Cordelia's last nerve all the same time. Again, this used to, they say they used to be really awkward because they would have to be dancing to nothing. Like there would be no song, they'd be up there singing nothing because they would put the music in later so that you could hear them talking to each other. Get poor Willow, she's gonna cry. Buffy is just... Uh. Even Cordelia is kind of like, what's up? I'm supposed to be the queen bitch who doesn't care about what anyone else says or thinks. <laughs> wow, even Xander's like, you aren't into this. thing to do. Man! Buffy. You're really campaigning for Bitch of the Year, aren't you? As defending champion, you're nervous. I can hold my own. You know, we've never really been close, which is nice because I don't really like you that much, but you have on occasion saved the world and stuff, so I'm gonna do you a favor. And this great favor is, I'm gonna give you some advice. Get over it. Excuse me? 
Whatever's causing the Joan Collins tood, deal with it. Embrace the pain, spank your inner mop it, whatever, but get over it. Because pretty soon you're not going to even have the loser friends you've got now. I think it's about time you start minding your own business. It's long past. Nighty night. I'll just see if Angel feels like dancing. Okay. Thank you in her moppet. I love that line. What is your childhood damage? What is your childhood trauma? Miss Calendar? Oh God, Miss Calendar? Cordelia is really, really good at getting captured. Is like the cemetery the shortcut between the bronze and her house? Tell you something to She's possessed. Possessed. That's the only explanation that makes any sense. I mean, you should have seen her last night. That wasn't Buffy. Are we overlooking the idea that she may be very attracted to me? She's possessed. <laughs> possessed oh, uh, possessing. Where is Xander? What now is it done? Well, you're the expert. Hey, maybe when the master killed her, some mystical bad guy transference thing happened. That's what it was. I mean, why else would she be acting with such a B I T C H? Well, I. Uh, I think we're all a little too old to be spelling things out. A bitka? Bitka. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just that, uh, the explanation for that is our iconic line, guys. If you're new mundane. to to the uh, fandom, they simply have what you Americans refer to as issues. Uh, her experience with the master must have been extremely traumatic. Well, she was for at least a few what minutes. You Americans dead. call issues. Well, I don't think she's dealt with that on a conscious level. She's convinced herself that she's invulnerable for the very reason that she feels... That's a very interesting point about trout you just brought up now. Trout? Trout? Yes, the trout. It's, it's a fish. fish. Good morning. Do you sleep well? Like a rock. Master's gone. I'm sorry? The master. I went by his grave last night, and they have a vacancy. Good God. What would somebody want with master bones? A trophy, a um, horrible conversation piece. They're gonna bring him back. They're gonna bring the master back to life, and I seem to recall you telling me he was history. Buffy, I've, I've never heard of a, a revivification ritual being successful. But you've heard of them? Thanks for the warning. Oh, Buffy, Giles did bury him. But this is Slayer stuff, okay? Can we just have a little less from the civilians, please? Okay, that's just about enough. I believe some of us have class, and some of us have jobs. Yeah, yes, well, I'll, uh, I'll see you all uh, in the library later. We'll, we'll continue this discussion. About trout. <laughs> About trout. She's got dark circles under her eyes. She doesn't look like she slept well. There are some things I can just smell. It's like a sixth sense. Well, actually, that would be one of the five. That's Summer's girl. I smell trouble. I smell expulsion. And just the faintest aroma of jail. Well, before you throw away the key, you might consider giving her the benefit of the doubt. She may surprise you. You really have faith in those kids, don't you? Yes, I do. Weird. <laughs> Weird. I love how they've gone from the extreme right, of Flutie, well, who is the I want to give you a hug. To revive the vampire, they need kind his of. bones, uh, which they have. And um, the, the blood, this is very unclear, of the, the closest person, uh, someone connected to the vampire. That'd be me. Perhaps. We were close. We killed each other. It really 
promotes togetherness. Well, is there anything I win the ceremony might take? This is Cordelia's. Come to the bronze before it opens, or we make her a meal. They're gonna cook her dinner? <laughs> oh, come on, Xander! I didn't say that. What do we do? I didn't just say that. Go to the bronze and save the day. I don't like this. Nor I. Yeah, well, you guys aren't going. What do you mean? I can't do it anymore. I can't look after the three of you guys while I'm fighting. Well, what about the rest of the note? The rest of the note? The part that says, P.S., this is a trap. Right? You'll we'll be playing straight into their hands. I can handle this. Stop saying that. God, what's wrong with you? Cordelia may be dead. This is my fight. So are we like really gonna let her do this, guys? You know, being stalked isn't really a big turn on for girls. You need help. Someone to watch your back. Sure you don't mean my neck? Why are you riding me? Hey, she's not, not yet. You. You're a vampire. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that an offensive term? Should I say undead American? <laughs> You have to trust someone. You can't do this alone. Hey, trust me. You're not as strong as you think. You think you can take me? What? Oh, come on. I mean, you must have thought about it. What would happen if it ever came down to a fight? You, vampire, me, the slayer? I mean, you must have wondered. Well, why don't we find out? I'm not gonna fight you. Come on. Kick my ass. Don't you have somewhere to be? Knowing what I know now? I do. Well, you're wasting time. Watching her behave this way, watching Stay this out of my way. is difficult. Happy to oblige. That's not Cordelia. <laughs> Cordelia couldn't make it. Where is she? I'm not supposed to tell. I don't like this. Don't like what? There's the bait. Where's the hook? You're right. Why would they send just one? I still think we should have gone with her. Buffy's about to lose it. I think we should be trying to reach minimum safe distance. Sander, you know it's a trap. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, the Latin is, is translated from the Sumerian, uh, and rather badly. Closest to the master actually translates as nearest, physically. The, the person or persons who were with him when he... That would be you three. It is a trap. It's not for Buffy. Just isn't for her. Watch her. I'll kill her unless you have to. Buffy, what's going on? I'll be back. Nah, too late. Fantasma. The ones you could handle yourself. Where are the others? I don't know. I don't know what your problem is, what your issues are. But as of now, I officially don't care. If you'd worked with us for five seconds, you could have stopped this. Wait, we just have to think. Where are they taking them? 
If they hurt Willow, I'll kill you. Why did they take them and not you? Child said the ritual was, um, they needed people who were close to the master, physically close. When he, uh, the ones who were with the master when he died. Giles, Willow, Cordelia. And Miss Callender. I'd rather got a complete set by now. We need to find out where. How? <clears throat> One more time. Where are they? You're too late. Your friends are dead. <laughs> Tell me where they are. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Kill me? <laughs> As a matter of fact... <clears throat> yes. But since I'm not gonna kill you anytime soon, the question becomes, how are we gonna pass the time till then? Like, angels like this is uncomfortable. <laughs> so, one more time. Torture Buffy is in the house. Shouldn't I I got a question. Why why didn't we smash the bones to Begin. start with? No. This looks like fun. In a way that it totally doesn't. Witnesses to our master's wretched demise. They will breathe their last this night. The blood that pours from their throats will bring new life to the old one. Gather for his resurrection. For the dawn of this new era. Buffy. Buffy. We gotta do something now. You two get the others out of here. We need you to distract the vampires. Right. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna kill them all. I'm gonna kill them all. That ought to distract them. For the old one. For his pain. For the dark. For the dark. For the dark. dark. For the dark. For the dark. Oh. Come on. You're not even making it hard for her. Get him, Angel. Get him! Yeah! Do it like you mean it! Are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. Where's Buffy? Uh, she's working out her issues. Out her issues. That's one way to work out unresolved vampire issues. Your day is done, girl. I'll grind you into a sticky paste. And here you beg. 
before I smash in your face. So, are you gonna kill me, or are we just making small talk? Now that worked. It's over. No, it's not. Time for sticky pits. Come on, girl. Work that aggression out. I know you're supposed to like be having all kinds of feels because of how hurt she is and how damaged this made her. How much it crushed her, but I just want to go, yes! <laughs> Do it! Take it back. Take your identity back. He didn't get you. You won. Not only did you win, but in the end, you had friends, people who loved you and were waiting for you. What an ordeal. And you know what the worst part is? It stays with you forever. No matter what they tell you, none of that lust and blood and grunt comes out. I mean, you can dry clean till Judgment Day. You are living with those stains. Yeah, that's the worst part of being hung upside down by a vampire who wants to slit your throat. The stains. I hear you. I don't think I can face them. Hmm? Of course you can. I oh, can't. Cordy. Always looking on the brighter say. side Sorry, of things. Sorry, I almost got your throat slit while it's the homework. Punishing yourself like this is pointless. It's entirely pointy. I was a moron my best friends in mortal danger on the second day of school. What are you going to do, crawl inside a cave for the rest of your life? Would it have cable? Back you when cable, cable was a thing, that. now it'd be like, <laughs> would it have it was streaming? hardly the, the worst mistake you'll ever make. Yeah, it wasn't quite as comforting as it was meant to be. Well, points for effort. You know, you call out, or I call out, all these things about how it's weird and creepy that she spends all her time with the librarian, and so do Willow and Xander. Hey, Buffy. Hey. We saved you a seat. There's a rumor going around that uh, Mr. Cox is the most boring teacher in the entire world. Like, I think he won a belt or something. A belt. Like, yes. Well, I hear he nods off a lot, so that's a plus. So we bronze in it tonight? Wednesday is kind of beat. Well, we could grind our enemies into talcum powder with a sledgehammer, but gosh, we did that last night. Hey, I got a plan. How about we
think that'd be kind of an understatement, wouldn't you? I mean, like, okay. Sure. <sighs> okay, fan geeks. That was episode one, season two, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And... Uh, I am I am so excited for the season, you guys. It's my favorite season. It has some of the best, best episodes. And my favorite, favorite people are in this, favorite characters are in this episode, epi season. I just, yeah. And, and I am just looking forward to it. What about you guys? Comment below and let me know. Do you have a favorite episode this season? Is there someone who's going to show up and you're like, I can't wait till they get there. It's going to be so awesome. Let me know. I love to hear from you guys. <sighs> Remember to like, because that really helps our channel out. And subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell so that you know every time we drop a new reaction. Love to see you there. And come back next Tuesday, because it'll be another Buffy day. We'll see you there, guys.